Because we didn't know that you are the commander general. Everyone should learn it from now because he is the one in charge. It's a lot given to him by the others. So, to whom service offended, have mercy and pardon. <laughs> as a, the next topic, as we have can say, be like a heavenly father. Be like, be like a heavenly father as the major team. In my own soft team. Yeah, I think you all hear me very well. Yes. Yes. Okay. The main thing is be like a heavenly father. Yes, it may sound so sweet, so familiar, and so easy. But being like a heavenly father is not an easy job and it's not a dead work. Because it takes you your time, it takes you your health, it takes you everything you have, and you, most of all, dedicate your entire being and everything that you have in order to be like a heavenly father. But in my own soft team, I am taking the team that says identify the true relation. Because first of all, you must identify a true relation. Where the true faith, the true doctrine, and every other thing is being taught. So that you who is a follower will then follow very well. If not, you would, you would follow well. Because when a blind man is leading a blind man, they will all fall into a ditch. And when someone whose vision is quite clear is leading someone without life, that person they will bite out every hole and every hole that they may find along their way. That is why two religion must equally and very much more help you to be like a heavenly father. Having seen the team and the soft team, as I said, is identifying a true religion. Why must a true religion lead you to a heavenly to live like a heavenly father or be like him? If you are listening to the news, there was a stampede at Saudi Arabia. What are they doing? That they were stoning the pillar, three pillars that were built, built by one man, with smell and black and other things materials. This said many years ago, but the, our brethren, those that are competing with the Israelites, decided to be throwing, throwing stone on that very three big pillars. In the sense that they are throwing down the Satan or the devil. I don't know how ironical it is that Satan is not dwelling in a pillar built by man. I think none of us should believe that. And I have witnessed that somewhere where I was residing, one night they were having their prayer, they ordered their members that whosoever is coming tomorrow evening should come with the bundle of Cain. Then I was sitting aloof. Imagine what they are going to do with a bundle of Ken, everyone. Then I decided to hang around within the church premises. At a certain point, then we are ordered to start flogging Satan, the devil, the enemy. I caught me, I saw it, I witnessed it. It's not a story time, I am a witness of it. Each and every one of them started flogging the ground until you finish your own bundle of cake. So I was wondering what actually are they teaching these people? Is Satan or the devil living on the ground? Or in the camp? Or the sense that they are scattered away from in the ground? So true religion, that points me out that I should use it as my own sort thing. The topic, identifying the true religion because you and me if we fight or identify a true religion and follow it, we will certainly be like our heavenly Father. Let's take our first reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 7, from verse 17. I read. Matthew, chapter 7. I will read verse 17. If you are there, that place says, Matthew 7, 17. I read there. In the same way, every good tree produces good fruit, but a bad tree produces bad fruit. There's no, no wonder, and you should let's imagine any longer. Why so many crimes are found? Why a lot of things are spreading up? Go and every other one. Simply because 
Bad tree must bear bad fruit. It's obvious. Good tree must bear good fruit. No two ways about it. We are all the children of our Heavenly Father here. Yeah? We are all working very hard to be saved at the right and appropriate time. So that when our Messiah will be coming the second time, we will join him in the kingdom like the manner we are celebrating today. But what about if you yourself didn't know the right religious story? Or to enroll yourself? You perhaps enroll yourself in a religion that decided that you will bring your first child. And probably that might be the only child you have. And they want you to sacrifice him or her. Because you have enrolled, you've decided to belong to that very religion or society, or you may call it. It is obvious that you must offer all that very child. But to our own, we are not in like manner because all that we are hearing has that kind of mental laying background from the scripture. And there is no one we can institute on our own. Because everything has already been described and laid out for you and me to follow it. I am saying that to those who probably come from Muslim family, it is a great thing for you to be out of it because it is not easy. To those that are born in the household of the traditional worshippers, it is a great thing. I think our Messiah did a very great work in your own household. Picking you out of the numerous. Because it is not easy. Okay, what about somebody like us? Brought up from Catholic doctrine. It is not easy. Because I know that so many of us migrated from one religion before finding ourselves here. It is a miracle. It is an act of law from our Heavenly Father that you and me will be picked to be assembled here at the right and appropriate time. Because it is not easy. We have different where places and religious and cause where we belong. But because of the mercy of God, we find ourselves into this very house of God. Two religious matters for us to live and be like our Heavenly Father. Wherever you are going, in any invitation you are being offered, while going there, be very, very careful because the Bible had already said that. Bad tree must surely bear a bad fruit. One good tree must surely bear a good fruit. Because what they are doing there, you must be very, very careful. Wear them in, wear them out, equate them with the scripture, and know whether they are good for you to join or not. I'm sorry, most of the time when I was invited to some ceremonies, I used to stand outside the building. Or I would come up when they would be going to their reception venue. There yeah, I will be with them. Simply because I cannot worship the same God with them. Because most of their altars, you see some certain idols. You may look at those things as just an image. They are idols. They are demigods, they are deities. How dare am I going inside there to worship with them? Even right from the time I stepped into that very church, that says so called church building, I have already. Enter into their shrine. Take note. Any outsider that entered here now, that person, the spirit of God that is guiding us here, is upon that person. By seeing the environment, the person will go down. So when you live your yeah, real doctrine, the true religion, and show that of your friends, or your co workers, or your associates, and continue entering into their shrines so frequently, in short, you are reducing the power of God in you. Because the power of being like heaven, our Heavenly Father, you are the one who enjoying yourself. Because every good dream of their good fruit. Let's go to John 4, 24. The book of John chapter 24. The book of John, 4 to 4, I'm sorry, I mentioned the book of 4 to 4, I mentioned. The book of John, chapter 4, verse 24. I will read 24. If you're there, I read. 
Dabla says, God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Why you are worshiping our Heavenly Father? You must worship Him in spirit and in truth. What about if you had entered the church where there is no truth? You have denied yourself the right to hear the truth. You have definitely denied yourself the right of the Spirit of God. That is why you must know where and where to go and where household the so-called church and the self-acclaimed prophet and prophetess and pastors had to enter into their syllabus and their surprise. Or they may call it house of God. Let them call it anything that God knows in his own heaven. So what I'm saying is this. You must be in accordance with your heavenly father in terms of religion. Else you end. Else you will bring down a cause that you did not know that you have just invited the cause because you have bowed down to a deity. You bowed down to an idol which you didn't think that means anything, but later you know that your power is being degraded. We have many friends, we have many associates, and so many other things are related. But you must count your steps in entering any religious or any religion or any house of God as they are all calling them. Mind you, many of the courtes have now turned into churches. Mind you, Many of the secret societies now are not as many secret societies any longer. They are now rather churches. So that when you are still interacting and going in and out of them, mind you, mind you, that you are going down to the center. You are as well throwing stone to the pillar at Mecca. That is where the stampede was caused. Now, if it is true that Satan or the devil is in, in those pillars, with the number of that being recorded over there, I think the, the devil has gotten an upper hand over there for them. Yes, because it has not many souls. While Allah did not slaughter any anyone, wrong and false religion. Wrong and very false religion. Have it in your mind. I proceed. St. John 17, 17. St. John 17, 17. The same the book of John chapter 17 that I have as well read verse 17. <coughs> if you're there, read. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. Sanctify them by your truth, for the word is truth. What is the truth? The truth is that when we come here as we are here now, the religion, the right religion, that is doing as well as working very hard to be like a heavenly father, the truth and only the truth will be taught to you. What you will hear here is what is actual in the scripture. No more, no less. And when you hear the truth, it is well for you to work with the truth. Wherever you are going, truth will follow you. Wherever you are settling, then there must be truth there. If by adventure you enter where there is no truth, what you do is what? You withdraw yourself from that place because you are not safe. You are not safe in the sense that if someone rose up and slapped you, the witnesses that are all around there will not agree that that person slapped you. They will all deny it. Then when you are denied, what are you expecting? Whom did you want to be a witness to you? Because you have already known that there is no truth in that very religion. So whatever is done to you, that is your wish, and that is what you invited to yourself. If you decide to, do, to, to join a court, and they must give, give you ten good courts on your different parts of the body, you decided to enter there, you enrolled, you went in with them. They gave you the heavy cut of the budget. Uh, I think I will be one of the fools that will ask you to sorry to our Because if I go in, that means I encourage you to be there. 
Why you know that it is a God? Then you are there. You have received the advice. You have received the way of initiating you into their fold. There's no sorry to you. I won't. I think I'll be the last fool to do that because you are aware that that is what you are going to encounter. And before you get out of that place to find the true religion, you must have done this. Wherever you obey my brethren, wherever you find yourself, in your working places, in your private business, where you are studying, the devil works. Let us make sure that we teach them the true and right religion, where truth are bound. And let us teach our children the truth and nothing but the truth, so that they will equally grow with the truth. Because every bad tree must bear bad fruit. If I, as I may find, I start telling my children all the falsehoods in the universe. Then, but eventually, one in one in one of the hours of time in the day, I call my son. Ah, how is it? He said, I thought I said, I blessed it here. He said, No, it wasn't here. It was blessed in the other building or with some other place. I should not beat him because that is what I thought. I must not torment him because that is what he inherited from me. Because a bad fruit must bear, a bad tree must bear a bad fruit. While a good tree must definitely bear fruit, good fruit. <coughs> that word you think that is common is not common. What you have is what you give out. If you have truth in you, always you must be saying the truth. If you have truth in you, you will always be telling people the truth. And if anything is happening, you will find around there. If other people are witnessing against that very thing, what you will see and you will hear a voice that you say, Go and see so so person, Brother John, over there. Please go and ask him. That's the only person among them that I know that will tell you the truth. And that has made you what you are. You have been like a heavenly father. True religion does nothing than to teach you. The right thing, the right steps, the right ways, how to communicate, how to deal with, how to be in good and peace and in truth with your fellow human beings, as well as in one spirit. Be working hard to be like a heavenly father. I do not see it as a death task. It is not a death task. It's something that we continue growing in. As we continue learning, we continue acquiring knowledge. We continue understanding. We continue digesting why the Spirit of God will then continue teaching us, showing us, directing us where to go, where not to go. Two days ago, I was called from my office that there's a meeting with our governor yesterday. And I must be there because of my own presidential position. I said, okay, governor is a mummy. I am a I am before my creator, with the good wisdom, most period. I have nothing to lose whether I attend the meeting or not. In short, I am not attending or later I am away. At the end of, before the end of the meeting, another information that about the pension, because I do pay pensions check, that I must prepare verification for my pensioners. Okay, that's okay. That's all right as well. I am already away to be with my creator. And it does not how I go back. And if I should go back, it must be when and after this very feast celebration. I lost my mind. I thought to my creator, the situation, I cannot live here. I have not to tell my pastor that I refuse because I think I am mature enough to decide. After saying my prayer, which I perfectly believe that it has been granted. At the end of meeting with the governor yesterday, later in the evening, I called one of my co-workers, December 4th, I called on him. I said, are you two with the meeting? He said, yes. Uh, what goes on or what comes up? He said, I mean, that very tedious job that he gave us, the verification of uh, pensioners, that he has shifted it to some other people. Ah, he said, OK. That, uh, I said, oh, I'm already speaking to my creator about that finish. Because anything that will stop me halfway from this feast, because I know that for some years now I have not attended. This year, I did everything to make sure, and the God can tell me that I must be here. Then I am here. The devil that uh, the Muslims have stolen me at the Mecca is now coming up to call me back with the name of government. 
who has two legs, one head, and the own is four years ten. <laughs> well, I have someone whose tenure is from everlasting to everlasting. So I'm not losing anything. Even if I lose my job, with what I have on me, I think my Heavenly Father will provide an ear for me. Why? Because the true religion has taught me this. And I wish each and every one of you for something, learning something from this very United Church of God. Because the truth is there. The spirit, the one spirit is there. Never mind, maybe in your own corner, in your own congregation, you may find one thing that is going wrong. Don't mind. Those things will surely come to pass. We are humans. We must err from time to time. But when you err, realize that you err. Remember the truth. Remember that you are working very hard to be like your Heavenly Father. You will correct yourself. You will definitely correct yourself. You must make a mistake. You, you are going to, it's likely that you must make a mistake because there's no fish that is in the water that can deny of water. That was my very self. But when I realize that I have a very big project at hand, working hard to be like my Heavenly Father, I think I will come back to my mistakes and then do what I promise them. The true religion teaches you all these things to prepare you to be like a Heavenly Father. Let's proceed. John, uh, let's go to Matthew 24, verse 14. Look at Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. The book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. There I read it from there. That verse says, This good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed in all the world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. So to you, who paraventure has found yourself in a very difficult situation from now on, and every time, instead of you to arise and say, oh, this time I am liberated, one problem or the other, one problem or the other, you are shouting, you are calling our Jesus Christ, come back again, this year, waste so much time, was I there in this very predicament place? The simple truth is there. That is why Matthew 24, 14 says this. I read it again for you. For you to know that it is not yet time. That I will expect it any moment. It is the true religion that will teach you. This good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed in all the world. This good news has not to come to every nook and cranny of the world. There are some areas that the name of Christian should not be had. In India, before you proclaim yourself a Christian, you will go to the court. It must be documented. You know their religion. It must be documented that you are a religion in the court. Or else, if you practice it in a secret, you will be apprehended. And so many other countries that worship so many different things. So that when you are waiting for Christ's return, bear in mind that the good news which must be proclaimed in all the world has not been proclaimed. And who and who will do that to you and me? Everywhere you find yourself, you have to bring the good news. I have to bring the good news. Remember, we have similarity with the Lord Jehovah, the witness. They said that I'm not going to heaven. That they will join all the good buildings on this planet. So they originally believed that Christ will come again, that the new kingdom will suddenly come. The you also is to preach to others that Christ will come again. When he has prepared a place, he will come. And when he comes, he will establish his kingdom here on the planet. And for you and me, those things that made us to be in this place, to stand up, to stumble in the word of God, to relate in keeping God's words, commandments, statutes, and all the rest of the ordinances, those things will be rolled away. And it is only true religion that will teach you this. When you see other people messing up, that is what they are being taught. Because some pastors, some prophets, and some prophetess, when the kidnapping gang got money, they will bring it for them to be blessed. They will bless the money of the abducted victims. 
They are blessing for them. They buy them cars, buy them jeeps, give them some millions. Such religion is a false one. That is why you must know and follow the right religion that will teach you the right doctrine, that will teach you the right precepts, that will teach you the Ten Commandments of God, the ordinances, the status. Remember, it is this religion that teacher that taught us that at this point in time we must all gather to celebrate the feast of Tabernacles. And that is why we are here. And others celebrated it. No, those that are ignorant of this very feast cannot celebrate it. Who will teach them that? How will they know? It's your duty and my duty to go out and bring this very gospel of the kingdom of God. And when we might have gone right one in the world, then our Messiah will come for the second time. Let's go to Micah chapter 4. The book of Micah. The book of Micah chapter 4, I will read from 1 to 4. If you are there, I read. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's house will be established, at the top of the mountains, and will be raised above the hills. People will stream to it. Verse 2. And many nations will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the Lord of Jacob. He will teach us about his ways, so we may walk in his paths. For his rushes will go out of Zion, and the way of the Lord from Jerusalem. Verse 3. He will settle despots among many peoples, and provide arbitration for strong nations that are far away. They will beat their squares into bronze, and their spears into chrono knives. Nations will not take up. That's why I guess nation. And they will never again pray for war. Verse 4. But each man will sit under his grapevine and under his fig tree, with no one to frighten him. For the mark of the Lord of hosts has promised this. Have you said it? At the appropriate time, at the right time, people will be trooping inside here. For example, on the top of the mountain is where, on the pinnacle, is where every eye will see what is there. What was the house be there? It's for every nation to look at it and know that that is where the greater universe is residing. Every, the Bible says that everyone will troop to it. Why are they put to, to that place, towards that very area? Only to hear the and to know that, yes, you and me, we are worshipping the living God. They will do it. The Muslims will be there. The so-called Christians, without doing the right doctrine and without keeping the commandments of God, will never be there. Other religion, in other countries, all we face to towards that very mountain. And we have to do what? To come and learn. But then who will teach them? The children of God. Jesus Christ and his children who do what? Who proclaim. We teach them the truth. Now, they have been self, they won't listen to you. Unless the one that is approved by the Heavenly Father will listen. If not, they will not listen to you as at now. Not all of them. But at the appropriate time, at that time we expect them. At that expectation period and hour, you will see them beckoning you. Please. Teachers, please, let's hear the truth. Please, let's hear from you. What are they, what are they looking at to hear? The truth of the word of God, which we have had from the scripture, which our Heavenly Father has taught us to perfect us, to reactivate us, to make us be like Him. In the perfect creation of our Creator, He made man a perfect creature. It was when man decided that he would not be like his heavenly father, he fell. And since he fell, he has been working hard 
because we have already failed at our early stages. Now we are working hard, doing everything possible according to his doctrine to ensure that we come back to him again, that we get back to our father again, that he embraces us again because he has already told us, keep my commandments, you will be my children, I will be your God. When you get nearer to your creator and embrace his words and keep his commandments and his ordinances and status, Believe you me, he will do what? He will embrace you. Come back, my child. Already I've chased you a little bit far from me because of sin. Now that you realize your mistakes, come back to me. But then he is your father, your God, why you are his children. Romans chapter 2, verse 21. Book of Romans chapter 2. Now read verse 25. All right, verse 21. Romans 2.21, I read if you're there. 2.21, if you're there, I read. You then, who teach another? Do you not teach yourself? That's a question. I take it again. You then, who teach others? Come on. Do you not teach yourself? That's a question. You. Who preach, you must not steal. Do you steal? If I am here preaching to you, do not steal. Or, let me reduce to the lowest term. Tell my children, please, wherever you are going, wherever you can find yourself in this life, do not take another person's pain. Just go your way. Leave it for the owner. Even if it is lost. Then after teaching my children all these things, in one of the days, or in several occurrences, police will be looking for me, for I'm wrong. I'll take it again so that you follow me. I do teach my children in either in the morning prayer or in any good hour. Do not sell. Do not pick another person's pain. Do not look into another person's property. Rather, be on your own, work on your own, work hard for your own. Then, in different and occasions, my children thereby do witness law enforcement officers coming to arrest me for armed robbery cases. Automatically, I have a gun in my heart, of which I do operate, and I have my gun. Probably, some of them have been caught, and they are chasing me as one of the members of the have I taught my children what is happening at that? Is my real image being portrayed before my children? The answer there is no. You who teach others not to who teach others not to stay, do you stay? That's a question. It's a question you have to answer within yourself. While well, I man, will answer my own. I was not stay. Why you must not stay? It is not good that I teach you, you should not stay while I do stay. But then I am not behaving like my heavenly father. And the only church that teaches that, although no church claims to, to preach that, but I'm robbers, kidnappers, filled the church. Before the pastor will say, I needed one million for accommodation, they will say, We are raising to ten million. What are they? They are all business men. What class of business? Remember that every business has a class and name. What class of business do you do? Ah, international businessman. From which, which country to which country do you do your business? No country. But international business man. The person who is hungry with money will never delve into knowing what those donors are going and have the accumulating money. Rather, as a river, waste, you always need some more. Such religion, be at the distance from it. Keep away from it because it will not teach you the truth, it will not teach you the right way to be like it.
you who preach, you must not stand. Do you sell? Is a question. That's a very long question. Do you stand? Do you stand? And so many other things that the Lord of God forbids. We are here. Every day we teach, you hear something that is not familiar to the word of God. Act like the Buddhist. Go back to your scripture. Read it. If you did not tell, please keep it aside. But if it tells, uphold it and work with it so that the future will be so bright to you. So that you will be going to the perfection to live like your father in heaven. First John 3.18. The book of First John 3.18. Book of First John, chapter three, I'm reading verse eighteen. That verse says, "Little children, we must not love in word or speech, but in deed and in truth. We are all little children. There's no adult here for now. Before our Creator, before our Savior, we are all children. We are God's children." So we are all learning. We are all working hard to follow our Creator, our Father. That place says, Little children, we must not love in word and speak. Do not tell your brother or your brethren or those outside here that you love them while in your heart you hate them. It is a true religion, the right religion that will teach you this. Otherwise, others will teach you. You may love them with your lips and everything. But love them both from your heart before they leave and after their speech. So that your love will be complete. Many brothers have spoken on love. It says that, but indeed I know in truth. When you love somebody, that thing you're supposed to do to that person. Do it to that person. If you're supposed to render help to that person, render help. Be sure to be to, to be very transparent. What I am saying is that if you want to give something, you should not even shout it, just go and give it to that person. That is even more accurate because not that. I will give you this, you better give it. Why many people might have had it? And you know the Lord had to give it. When your right hand is given, do not let your left hand know what you are giving. So you must give. Give to others, as well as love in truth. When you love somebody, that person is in trouble. You could not, you are in position of helping that person out. And you cannot render help. There's no love there. That's a verbal one. Go to me. I'm going to make scripture. That one is a verbal love. And if by adventure, I did want something that is so wrong before you, instead of you to say, my brother, this one you have done is too bad. Say the truth, you will not die. You say, you rather encourage me, hey, I hear you. You have done well. You are only encouraging me to continue doing bad things. That is why it says, in love, in deed, and in truth. Remember my topic, you find a true religion. Because it is only this true religion that will teach you what you deserve to be like my heavenly father. Actually, I'm